Everything new in Kapwing broadcasts directly to you, the creator. This is your Kapwing Direct. Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing and welcome to April's Kapwing Direct where I'll show you around the newest features in Kapwing added this month and how they can make your content creation workflow easier. This month we've added a lot more ways for you to grab your audience's attention and create cohesive flowing narratives in your videos through our new transitions, text-to-speech, auto volume adjustment, and freeze frame features. By the way, if you're ever curious to learn about what's new in Kapwing on a more regular basis, feel free to check out our release notes doc that we update every two weeks with the latest features in Kapwing. Now click the first link in the description to get to Kapwing and let's try out these features together. So first up, a feature that has been a long time coming is our new transitions library. We used to have a few transitions in Kapwing, but with this update, we completely revamped the transitions library. So there are now over 70 transitions that you can use to move between different clips smoothly and make videos more interesting for your viewers. You'll find traditional ones like the cross dissolve and the zoom in addition to more modern and trendy ones like TV static and stereo viewer that can help emphasize the mood you're trying to create during things like scene changes or topic changes can also be good for indicating passing time or ads, social media clips, and video intros and outros. So to access transitions in Kapwing, just make a new project. And the key here is to have two different video clips, or it also works for image clips, side by side in the timeline. So as you can see, these two clips here are touching. Once you have that, head to the transitions tab on the left sidebar of the editor, and you're met with a whole list of the transitions. There are two Two different types of transitions. There's these cross transitions that go between clips and then there's also single-sided transitions where you only put them on one side of the clip. So for example fade is a really popular one that you can put on both sides you could put it on one side and when you have the one you want to use just click it and drag it and you'll see that in the timeline between the clips that are touching, there's these little areas with the plus icon. That indicates that you can add the transition to that area. So just highlight the one you want to add it to and drop the transition there. And then it will preview it for you. So this is just a simple cross dissolve, so it's pretty subtle. But you'll see that the, the transition is shown here between the two clips. Now, if you added a single-sided transition, it looks a little bit differently. You'll see that you can add it to either end of the clip. For example, if I wanted to fade out at the end, I'd add it to the very end there. And then you can see it just fades to the white, which it fades to the background color that you've chosen for your canvas. Now, these transitions are replaceable. So if you want to try a different one now, you can just simply choose a different transition and drag it back to that same area, drop it, and it will replace it with the new transition. You can also change the speed of the transition um, by clicking it and then going to the right side edit sidebar and choosing slow or fast or leaving it on default. Another fun thing to test out with these different transitions is to pair them with sound effects. So for example, we have a transition that is TV static. We have a glitch sound effect that I think goes really well with this transition. So I'm gonna try and line it up so that when the transition happens, the sound effect emphasizes the effect. So I'd highly recommend just exploring the different transitions. There are so many of them for every type of mood and every type of video. Another big feature we've added to Kapwing recently is text-to-speech. It's become a pretty popular technique on social media in the last few years. Text-to-speech voice. But adding text-to-speech to videos can actually be pretty annoying. You have to go to a separate website to generate the actual text-to-speech audio file then download it and then upload it to your video project. So we added text-to-speech in Kapwing to just simplify this whole process. And now you can create automatic voiceovers and edit your video in the same place in a few clicks. All you have to do to use text-to-speech is head to the text sidebar on the left side, just add a text layer, type out what you want to say, and then you'll see on the right side in the edit bar, there's a text-to-speech button. You can just click that button and then you'll have the option to choose a voice for the text-to-speech. And you'll see in the timeline, it immediately adds the voiceover, the automated voiceover for this text. First, chop the peppers. It reads it out loud for you so you don't have to spend that time and even money to have the audio equipment to do voiceovers. So I think this is a major addition to just reducing people's creative work, especially if you're trying to make videos for social media where using text-to-speech voices is pretty common. You can also detach 
the audio file. If you just want to, for example, export and just save the audio files, you don't want the video component, you can right click on the text to speech file and then to click detach audio and it will create this audio file that you can then just drag around wherever you want. Another feature we've added to Kapwing recently is auto level volume, which helps you automatically adjust all the audio levels in your video with a single click so you can get more balanced audio with less work. This is a game changer for videos where you have a bunch of different audio sources, for example, uh, and these clips can all have drastically different volume levels and it takes a while to manually adjust each one to check it's at a good volume. So we added this feature so you can just do this quickly. I've used this feature for multiple videos already and it saved me a lot of time in the process to the point where I don't even have to really think about the audio editing because I just select all the audio letters and click the audio level volume button and it does it all for me. So to use this feature, you'll need at least two different audio sources in a Kapwing project. These can be videos or just audio files or even music files and all you have to do is select all the audio files you want to even out. And then on the right side, there will be an auto level volume button. If you hit that, you'll notice that all the audio levels adjust so that the loudness is consistent across the video. Sometimes you may see that one clip, the waveform is still higher than another. And that's because you might've spoken closer to the mic for a certain video and further away for another. And so the volume needs to be at a slightly different level visually on the timeline. But when you listen back to it, it will be consistent. So we go from something like this, then the visuals. Yeah, in most video editor, where it is really quiet and then jumps super loud to once it's all balanced out with the auto level volume, it's more consistent. And the visuals. Yeah, in most video editors, adjust. Essentially, it'll make the video and all the audio in the video sound like it's recorded at the same volume in the same mic. Next up is freeze frame. This is a classic editing effect that is commonly used to highlight a moment in a video, annotate or explain something in a tutorial, or add entertainment value to memes and vlogs. And using it is pretty easy in Kapwing. Just have a video clip in the timeline, and then at the point that you want to freeze and take a screenshot of it that will be embedded into the flow of the video essentially, just right click and then hit the freeze frame button. And as you can see, it creates this screenshot of that moment in the video and puts it in between the rest of the video. So you have this effect where the video is moving and then as soon as it hits the freeze frame, everything's frozen and then it continues right where it left off and with the rest of the video. Now you can adjust how long you want the video to freeze by just dragging the ends of the screenshot, make it shorter or longer. And then you can also add other things for context to the video like text, or images. So for example, I added a text label and shape to the video to kind of point something out or emphasize it and let's and then the video continues on. I'd love to hear what you think of these new features or what you want to see in the future, so let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates on Kapwing. Keep on creating and I'll see you in the next video.